Hey guys, it's Lena from the Land of Gods, and yes, I am back from that very, very long break, longer than I had expected it to be. But I'm so happy to be back to you guys, back to my cards, back to the reading, and this one's for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the first week of August, first to the seventh. Guys, we're gonna look into the challenge advice and possible outcome if the advice is followed remember these are general reading times fluid and energies can be reversed so please take what resonates and leave the rest for others to receive all right my librans we are ready let us see what is going to be the challenge that might present itself this week whoa look at that we have the six of water something from the past coming in that is shaking your grounds mm. advice treat with caution i hear treat with caution Whoa. okay and if the librans do that what is being advised to them what is gonna be the outcome by the way i'm using the good tarot this week around oh star beautiful beautiful outcome coming in though i feel like this is a rather delicate situation to be in there's something from the past that's coming in that you do not know how to process chariot yeah you want to move away from that you want to move forward or move on this could be a past lover an ex reaching out of the blue this could be a text that you were not expecting a message that you were not expecting uh, something that you had already let go of whether it was a personal ex situation or let's say a professional situation where you had applied for a job and you kind of let go of the idea of working in that company or in that industry so to say and you hear out of the blue from them and now you do not know what to do with it because it seems like you are working on moving forward or you are halfway through the process like you have somebody new in life with whom you are not to the level of being committed or maybe you are but that connection is definitely more than just trivial whatever no i feel this could go either ways i'm connecting with both these energies where there is this group that I'm connecting to where this is to do with love and happiness and romantic connection. And then there is this group of people with whom I'm connecting wherein they kind of move from a project or from a company or from some idea of with whom that they want to work with. And they have taken a few steps further in that direction and suddenly something from the past is pulling them back as i said treat with caution and a breakthrough is coming something that is going to bring so much of hope and happiness star is divine blessings coming your way that is going to help you be on the right path let us clarify people six of water six of cups and the seven of pentacles seven of earth standing in the challenge knight of wands yeah there is something passionate from the past that is knocking on your door again that you are like why why now you're so confused it's leaving you completely in your head you do not know what to do it seems like you are pulled in all directions you're not able to 
take a call there is something that has not come to an end that will allow you to take that leap of faith that new direction that i'm talking about this movement that you have already kind of taken a few steps further but things are not finalized let's say you have not signed on the contract but you've discussed the negotiations have already taken place you've discussed everything you're just about to say yes or you've already said yes to your joining date and now this comes and this was something that you had initially thought of that you felt like that would be better for me and now it's leaving you really really in your head and you don't know what to do basically you really don't know what to do there is a lot of contemplation going on here it's leaving you very very tired in your head more than physically it's leaving you tired mentally let us see two of air see you need to deal with this situation carefully we have two of swords with a four of swords there is a need to deal with this diplomatically so that you don't land up hurting yourself or the people involved that is something that you are concerned about and i hear more than others think about your peace of mind think about your progress think about your healing wow okay yeah there is somebody who is manipulative listen as i am saying these are two groups that i am connecting with someone who has been manipulative and tricky and rather very charming you know that knight of wands that fiery connection very charming connection is making its way back his or her way back and you're not happy about it because you were not able to get a closure and this group wherein this is something to do with your stability money in your life and you are told listen you need to make up your mind and you need to keep your peace of mind your healing your processing in focus that four of swords is about you taking a time out you need to take a time out step back you don't have to take a call just because you feel pressurized by people okay if they really want you they will wait for you they better wait for you they better respect the time that you need to process this yeah six of pentacles there needs to be this balanced approach towards this you need to have the time that you need simple and there is no end date so to say a deadline you set that deadline nobody else nobody else gets to set that deadline than you yourself take the time that you need and handle the situation with much needed caution i feel that it is more to do with you not getting your heart broken again or getting yourself hurt again and that is the reason why you need to weigh this situation the star as the outcome star as the whoa look at that yeah you having that clarity man the king of swords and the king of cups coming together being pragmatic it's not that just because you have the clarity uh, that you're going to be you know a cold hearted asshole no but you're going to be clear you're going to be straight about this you don't have to be rude you can deal with this situation and you will it seems going to deal with this situation with much clarity and with much compassion these two kings coming in together tells me that with hope comes clarity and compassion all of that in the situation moving towards hope peace compassion clarity and that is wow hope joy happiness all of that coming together yeah no wonder that spirit is telling you again and again to take the time that you need to process this situation 
and probably this is coming back again into the scene because you have not had the closure and there are some hooks that are still deep inside that you need to process before you move towards this beautiful new direction that has so much of hope and positivity and potential we have got the king of pentacles the king of swords and the king of cups coming in come on guys we are talking about stability we are talking about clarity we are talking about compassion and love and pragmatism we are talking about moving towards the sun moving towards hope the sun and the star i mean that's a lot of hope coming in there let us get you an oracle guidance message to wrap up the reading beautiful reading here librans i am so happy for you guys just deal with this last phase it's like you know the elephant is gone just the tail is left deal with that with patience and clarity and treat this with caution and diplomacy and you will be able to get to your son you're gonna be able to move forward yeah look at that journey oh look at that we are talking about moving forward the chariot and journey coming in together this is reconfirmation that there is this time in life now where you are standing where a new journey is about to begin and you're about to move into this new phase in life but before that whatever that is unfinished business from the past it needs to wrap up for good otherwise you know what happens otherwise the pattern repeat itself shit comes back na na da da we don't want that do we pack your bags the journey card foretells upcoming travel or a shift in location it may be as simple as a vacation a retreat or class or even a work related trip this card could also signal a move of residence or a job relocation the upright position indicates that the plan should go off without a hitch still be clear about your motivations and mindful of logistics all of life is a journey and this card is telling you that you have some exciting and inspiring adventures ahead wonderful librans life is definitely about to offer you something absolutely beautiful new full of adventure so go grab it but before that clear the past shit and on that note i'm gonna take your leave that's it for this week it's a wrap namaste from the land of gods